YouTube, it's Jen. And Brad. And we're here for our weekly weigh-in. And as always, let's start with the numbers. And I'm going to let Brad go first. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Uh, six feet tall, starting weight 320. Last week I was 212.2. .2. This week I was 215 for a 2.8 pound gain. Okay. Um, Not I, surprised though. I am I'll tell you why. Five foot four inches tall. Um, started this journey at 262 pounds in December of 2012. Last week I was 176.8. This week I am 175.4 for a 1.4 pound loss. Good job. This makes no sense. So, this week mm -hmm. we went out of town. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, I'm going to back up a little bit. So, Wednesday, um, so I hurt myself exercising. So, Wednesday I didn't exercise. Thursday I taught kickboxing Friday Saturday and Sunday we went out of town so I had four out of seven days of no exercise but normally I exercise six days a week so I didn't exercise and I ate like pure crap and I managed to lose 1.4 it makes no sense whatsoever but I think my body was getting used to eating the same thing every day I was oatmeal for breakfast it was meatballs for lunch every day for like four months um and then sometimes it'd even be meatballs for dinner. I was just very lazy and boring. So this week, um, I mixed it up more. I've been trying new things. Um, I haven't necessarily been eating well, and I haven't necessarily been tracking well. But somehow, I managed to have a loss, so I don't know. I think we're going to blame it on hormones. What about you? Uh, so I went back and looked, and we were out of town. I didn't track Saturday. I didn't track Sunday. I didn't track yesterday. You didn't track Friday, did you? Um... Part of we went to the Palm, so I'm pretty sure you didn't track. Oh no! Well, I've tracked the first half of the day. Okay. So yeah, so on days where I'm not tracking, it's I get right out of that zone of where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not concerned because I see what happens the next week when I do start tracking again that it works out well. Well, and you also have this weird habit where you're much better than me for all of the quote unquote bad days, like over the weekend, and then the oh, day I made before, cake, my friend. <laughs> but then the day before you weigh in, you're kind of like, I've been shitty, so I'll just eat everything, and then you ate like all sorts of salty stuff yesterday. So I bet you part of it is just salt. Um, part of it is cake. But part of oh, it a lot is, of it was cake. Yes, yeah, I had cake Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday. That's a lot of cake. So good. I don't know what happened with me. Before I had my lap band, I was meat, 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 meat. Meat was my only thing I wanted. I didn't care about carbs or anything else. I got my lap band. I grew a sweet tooth like nobody's business. Ice cream. You just really oh love ice cream. You love no no. You love birthday cake. I do. So that's why you I had birthday, birthday cake, cake, cake so all great. weekend. We had birthdays to go to. Oh and my gosh. Yeah, I love birthday cake. It's awesome. And birthday cake with ice cream is even more awesome. Yeah, our niece had an ice cream birthday so, cake. So uh, Yeah, like, so I, I worked late tonight, and we had um, a late night lab. And tell so me we that cake food. is gone. That cake is gone. They finished okay. it yesterday. But, you know, we had all this dessert, but it wasn't birthday cake. It was chocolate and all this. I didn't care about any of it. Boy, birthday cake, though, is something fierce. I love it. <laughs> so just as long as I don't order birthday cake, I'm great. So, upcoming week. Yes. What is our plan? Oh, you okay. I got work, but I know what the meals are. I plan. I bring my lunch and breakfast and cook my dinners, and I'll be fine. So you're gonna go back to tracking this week? Oh yeah. Good. Um, I want to say product. Um, so I've been eating meatballs every day, and that last week I was like, if I see another meatball, I'm going to kill somebody. Um, so I went to Publix and I went to the frozen food section because I'm lazy and I do not cook. And Atkins... This is true, she had cook. Atkins used to have like three Atkins meals and that was it. And now they have like 15 Atkins meals. One of which is a stone-fired, and you know my dyslexia, I make it stone-fried pizza. Stone-fired pizza. Um, cheese pizza, 350 calories, 23 grams of protein, and it solved my pizza craving. And because it is um, bread, I have to eat it super slow, but that makes me enjoy it more and get and l allow myself to get full quicker rather than if I could eat it real fast, I won't feel full. So it is delicious. That is my new obsession, but I'm not going to just have pizzas. I need to Good. mix it up. But that is my new food find, Atkins Stone Fired Pizza. They have 
cheese, they have pepperoni, and they have like meat lovers. So, and they have a whole bunch of, they have meatloaf, they have all sorts of stuff. So, it's the Atkins, like the big A and the red. Yeah, I'm not a fan of most of that stuff. You liked, I liked the your, beef your, Merlot. That was it. But there's so many more now. You've I've been... tried others. Not for me. I like my Stopers. Me and Stopers are mm, like this. Well, you also can eat like more things than I can. You can oh, yeah, and you're all in... that stuff, and I But can't. you also just crazy about, I don't want to do me, 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 me. Is that exactly how I say it's it? It's pretty much just like that. It sounds really like that. Apparently, I'm a Muppet, and I go, me, 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 me. No, it's more like, me, 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 me. <laughs> so, we are going to lock it down. Uh-huh. Have some good numbers next week. Uh-huh. And now you're making me yawn. Oh, I am tired. Okay. So, it's past our bedtimes. Mm. Have a great night. Kick some fat asses. We love your faces. We hope you all are big losers. And we will see you next week, YouTube. Good night, YouTube.